Five years ago, voters approved gambling at four casinos in Arkansas. Right now, three are up and running, but not the one that's planned for Russellville. Now, it could be close to becoming reality, but it all depends on the Supreme Court ruling. I don't think anyone knew at the time, but that really set off a firestorm. It was a hot topic then, and it's a hot topic now. In 2018, voters said yes to Amendment 100. that called for casino gaming at four locations across the state, including at a new casino in Pope County in Russellville, where so far nothing's happened other than legal battles in court. The litigation has never stopped. There's never been a point where we pulled back and said, okay, we're close to the end here. Uh, however, now at this point, it looks like we are getting there. Arkansas Racing Commission spokesperson Scott Hardin says initially Mississippi based Gulfside Casino was awarded the license, but it was revoked due to a court ruling. The commission then issued the coveted casino license to Legends Resort and Casino that's owned and operated by the Cherokee Nation. Plans call for the casino to be built on 325 acres of land in Russellville. But in January, a Pulaski County Circuit Court judge ruled that Legends was not qualified to have the license and that the Racing Commission made a mistake issuing it. Today, Arkansas Supreme Court justices heard the appeal. The ruling that was made at the circuit court level really implied that this entire process may begin again. Legends in one of their legal briefings noted that they had already been before the Supreme Court five times. Hardin says the three casinos that are open mean big business for the state. I think people would be shocked to see how much casinos do every month. It's hundreds of millions of dollars. You know, this month we'll see 30, 40, 45 million dollars wagered on sports in Arkansas. That's just sports and that's just a small piece of the pie. When you move over to slots, you can multiply that number by quite a few. The argument in Pope County people say, well, we're missing out on the tax revenue and they are. And right now there's no word on how long it will take for the justices to issue their ruling. There's also no word on how long it will take the Cherokee Nation to build the new casino if the rulings in their favor. In Little Rock, Brett Rains, 4029 News.